Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the First Minister what her position is on whether Scotland's Census 2022 has been a credible exercise. First Minister. Uh, yes, it has. Uh, NRS are confident that the national return rate and the coverage across the country, coupled with the normal planned uh, post-collection quality control and assurance work, will provide credible, high-quality outputs. Uh, as I have said previously, NRS are working with a number of statisticians and experts in census and administrative data to help steer uh, the work over the next few months, and the support and advice from the steering group will help NRS produce a high-quality census data set, one that will ultimately provide them with the right statistical outputs they need to inform future service planning. Sarah Boyack. When I asked the First Minister about the problems with this year's census last month, she said questions would need to be asked, including about the credibility of this census. We clearly now need answers about the timing of the census, how it was conducted, yeah. resourced and its accessibility. But now we know the response rate. Does the First Minister agree with my concerns? that people on lower incomes will now be doubly hit. Given the importance of census data in targeting resources to invest in communities and tackle inequalities, and given the lower rates of return in disadvantaged communities across Scotland, and what action will she take to ensure that people will not miss out? First Minister. Of course, we will review experience and ensure that any lessons uh, that require to be learned uh, are learned, and I think it is important to repeat that. But it is also the case uh, that there is normal planned uh, work uh, that always follows uh, the census, uh, which is about the assurance of the credibility of the exercise. And NRS are now focused on that planned post-collection quality control and assurance work. Uh, that includes the census coverage survey, which is the second largest social research exercise in Scotland after the census itself. That involves door-to-door -door interviews with a sample of around 1.5% of the Scottish population, about 50,000 households. And that survey, alongside the use of other data, builds on the census returns so that the census outputs are representative of the whole of Scotland's population. And therefore, that does address the concern uh, about those in our more deprived communities. An expert steering group uh, of uh, experts has been established by the Registrar General to help steer uh, that work, and it's important that it now uh, gets on with it. Siobhan Brown. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Latest NRS numbers show that well over 1.5 million census field force address visits took place across Scotland in the lead-up to the deadline demonstrating a vast mobilisation and an incredible effort on the doorstep. I met with some census field force last Friday morning in air and spent some time knocking on the doors and discussing the challenges they've faced in recent weeks. Can the First Minister join me in expressing immense gratitude to those field staff who endured that the, endured that the return rate was as high and the data as sound as possible? First Minister. Well, can I thank uh, Siobhan Brown for her question, and I'm glad to hear she did take up the Registrar General's offer to meet uh, with the very hard-working census field force. Uh, over 1.66 million field force address visits took place, uh, including some multiple uh, visits, with field staff providing advice and support, uh, leaving calling cards, providing paper forms to householders and supporting doorstep data capture. So, yes, I do want to add my thanks to the hundreds of field staff who have worked tirelessly over the past few months, mobilising across the country and providing invaluable support to the people of Scotland. And let me also take the opportunity to thank the nearly 2.3 million households who have completed the census.